Hey folks, Kevin here, and I'm back with another video about, you guessed it, depots. Something really strange happened to Waymo last night, and it all started with this depot. You've probably seen it before from Sophia Tung's excellent live stream, or from the many local news segments that have covered it. Anyway, last night, Sophia and some moderators from her live stream noticed that instead of the Waymo vehicles coming into the lot and parking autonomously, they were coming into the lot and being powered off by a member of the operations staff. This was highly unusual because Friday evenings are one of Waymo's peak demand hours and the app was already showing a message about limited supply and surge pricing. So it was unusual that these cars were being taken out of rotation. And although it looked like some cars were being powered on to be added back to the Waymo service, I think this was actually the operations team using the car keys to lock each vehicle. In this clip, the operator appears to be using a flashlight to identify whether the key belongs to the vehicle that he's trying to lock. For the Jaguar I-Pace, we know that the vehicle is locked when the handles retract back into the door. This seems to be an impromptu operations procedure, if you can even call it that, because the operator seems to have a pocket full of car keys that he's randomly pressing to identify the right one. At least that's what I think is going on here. I'll leave the rest of the clip in the video because I know some people will be interested please let me know what you think is going on here. And if you're not interested in watching the whole thing, then just skip to the next chapter. Next, I headed over to the main depot. The gate was open for some reason, so I could see that this depot was also packed with parked Waymos. This is pretty unusual for a Friday night. Now let's take some drone shots to get a better view. The drone footage reveals that at this location, nearly all of the charging spots are occupied. Unlike the previous location, some cars here are driving autonomously. For example, the one at the bottom of the frame with the blinkers on that reverses briefly to make room for a car ahead. Here's a wider shot that really shows how packed the place is. Nearly every spot is taken, which is very unusual for a Friday night when these cars should be out serving trips. Also, next to the gate at the bottom of the frame, a Waymo is being brought in on a flatbed truck. Taking a closer look at the charging area, we see that there's a long line of Waymos looping around in both directions looking for spots. While I was here, I saw a few cars being launched However, they were in the minority. Most of the driving seems to be just circling the parking lot looking for a spot. I also noticed the addition of two temporary diesel generators. These were definitely not here when I made a video last April. Here's the footage. Now let's get back down to the ground to check out these generators. We're on the far side of the depot, and these are in fact diesel generators. The second diesel generator is also in a container, but it's a different model. I was able to peek under one of the generators to confirm that it is in fact wired up to the DC fast chargers. I don't know how I feel about cars driving over those cables, but I guess this is a temporary setup, so maybe it doesn't matter. Anyway, that's all I have. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this investigation, please make sure to leave a like, 